myself Niharika Pariya from Hills High School, Eder. Our today's chapter is Fiber to Fabric. Today I will teach you third chapter of book science, sixth standard. We will learn about fabrics. How can we make fabrics from different type of fibers? And from that fabrics we can make clothes. In this chapter many processes are given so that we can learn how can we make fibers and then fabrics. Pahili and Bujo won the first prize in a science quiz competition held at their school. They were very excited and decided to use the prize money to buy clothes for their parents. Students Pahili and Bujo had a competition in their school and they were won first prize. So they want to purchase the clothes for their parents. Just look at the picture and read these lines. When they saw a large variety of clothes material, they got confused. When they go to the market and saw the large variety of clothes, they were confused. The shopkeeper explained that some clothes of fabrics were cotton and some were synthetic. He also had woolen mufflers and shawls. There were many silk saris as well. See, students, when they went to market, there were many type of wool, clothes materials like cotton, woolen, saris, etc. Paheli and Bujo felt very excited. They touched and felt these different fabrics. Finally, they brought a woolen muffler and a cotton sari. Finally, they, they bought what? A woolen muffler and a cotton sari for their mother. After their visit to the clothes shop, Paheli and Bujo began to notice various fabrics in their surroundings. When they went to the uh, shop, na, what they can they see? They see in their surroundings there are very various type of fabrics. Like they found that bed sheets, blankets, curtains, tablecloths, towel, and dusters were made from different kinds of fabrics. Children, you can see in this picture, this is a shop and we can see many type of fabrics and clothes, bed sheets, sarier, saris, curtains, etc. Towels and dusters were made from different kind of fabrics. Student, have you seen the fabric of your bags? Have you seen the fabric of a duster and towel? All those fabrics are different kind of fabrics. Even their school bags and the gunny bags were made from some kind of fabrics. You can see a gunny bag in this picture. This is called gunny bags. The gunny bags were made from some kind of fabric. They tried to identify these fabrics as cotton, wool, silk or synthetic. Can you also identify some fabrics? See students, our shirts are made up of cotton, our mother's sari. Some saris are made up of cotton, some of silk, some are from polyester. Okay. We can we will wear the sweaters of woolen. 3.1 variety of fabrics. Activity 1. Visit a nearby tailoring shop. Collect cutting of fabrics left over after stitching. Feel and touch each piece of fabric. Students, what you have to do? Just visit a nearby tailor shop. If you have any tailor shop or uh, tailoring work at nearby your house, so visit there. And some pieces of extra pieces after stitching are there. Collect all that cutting fabrics and try to label some of the fabrics as cotton, silk, wool or synthetic after asking the help of the tailor. What you have to do? Just ask to the tailor uncle or whatever that which fab fabric is this they were cotton silk wool synthetic etc and you have to paste it in your notebook and just write down either it is woolen or cotton or silk name them do you wonder that these different fabrics are made of when you look at any fabric it seems a continuous piece now Look at it closely. What do you notice? Children, 
Here a picture is given of one fabric. See in this, we can see a different threads continuously join, join with each other. Students, जब आप इस पीस को पास से देखोगे तब आपको पता चलेगा कि continuous piece जो है वो अलग अलग thread से अलग अलग दोरों से मिल के बना हुआ है Now see the last activity on this page, activity टू Select a piece of cotton fabric you लेबल in activity वन जो आपने इस activity में अलग अलग pieces paste किए थे ना label लगाए थे उसमें से एक cotton का piece select करना है Now try to find a loose thread of yarn at one of the एज जब आप इसको एज से देखोगे ना तो इसमें अलग अलग threads आपको दिखाई देंगे उसमें से एक loose yarn को आपको पकड़ना है and pull it out. देखिए जैसे फिगर 3.3 में आपको दिखा रखा है उस तरह से आपको एक थ्रेड को खींचना है इफ नो लूज यार्स आर विजिबल यू कैन जेंटली पुल वन आउट विद द पिन और अडल अगर कोई लूज यान नहीं है तो आप पिन या निडल से भी एक यान को पकड़ के एक को ऐसे थ्रेड को ऊंचा करके खींच सकते हैं वी फाइन That a fabric is made up of yarns arranged together. यानी कि ये जो fabric है cotton का वो अलग अलग yarns को एक दूसरे के साथ arrange करके बनाया हुआ है वो एक continuous piece दिखाई देता है but वो अलग अलग yarns हैं What are these yarns made of? Now we will see कि what are these yarns? ये जो yarns हैं वो किससे बनते हैं Fiber. Activity थ्री Take out a yarn from a piece of cotton fabric. प्लेस दिस पीस ऑफ यान ऑन द टेबल हमने अभी देखा कि हमने एक कॉटन पीस के एज में से एक थ्रेड खींच के निकाला अब वो जो यान हमारे हाथ में है उसको टेबल पर रखना है नाउ प्रेस वन एंड ऑफ द यान विद योर थम स्टूडेंट यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर कि जो यान है उसकी एक एज को हमें थम से पकड़ना है स्क्रैच द अदर हैंड ऑफ द यान अलॉन्ग इट्स लेंथ और उसका जो अदर हैंड है अदर उसका जो एंड है उसको हमें लेंथ की तरफ ऐसे स्क्रैच करना है जैसे हम स्क्रैच करते हैं ना थम से किसी भी चीज़ को वैसे विथ योर नेल एज शोन इन फिगर जैसे फिगर में बता रखा है वैसे एक साइड से उसको पकड़ के रखना है होल्ड रखना है और दूसरे उसके एंड पे उसको स्क्रैच करना है डू यू फाइंड दैट एट दिस एंड द यान स्प्लिट्स अप इन टू थिन स्ट्रेंड्स स्टूडेंट्स जब आप किसी भी एक आप पे आज एक होमवर्क करिए एक थ्रेड लीजिए और उसको एंड में से एक साइड से उसको स्क्रैच करिए आप देखेंगे कि उस जो थ्रेड है जो यान है उसके भी अंदर से अलग अलग थिन स्ट्रेंड्स निकल रहे हैं उसके एंड में से यू कैन सी इन दिस पिक्चर 3.4 एंड 3.5 पॉइंट फाइव ऑल्सो में देखिए आप कैसे एंड में उसके दो जो हैं वो हमें स्ट्रेंड्स दिखाई दे रहे हैं You might have observed something similar when you try to thread a needle. Many a time, the end of the threads is separated into a few thin strands. बच्चों जब हम सुई में धागा पे रोते हैं, तो हम यही चीज़ observe करते हैं कि उसको जब हम अंदर in करने जाते हैं, तो उसमें से छोटे-छोटे और thin strands निकलते हैं, तो वो easily हम needle में कर नहीं पाते हैं. This makes it difficult to pass the thread through the eye of the needle. और इसी वजह से हम निडल की आई में जो है थ्रेड नहीं पिरो पाते हैं द थिन स्ट्रैंड ऑफ थ्रेड दैट वी सी आर मेड अप ऑफ स्टिल थिनर स्ट्रैंड कॉल्ड फाइबर्स और यही जो हमने स्ट्रेच किया ना अभी इसके पहले की एक्टिविटी में स्ट्रेच करने के बाद जो अलग अलग और दो अंदर से थ्रेड्स दिखे ये थ्रेड्स ही ये थिनर स्ट्रैंड ही कहलाते हैं फाइबर्स so students you have to write this definition i have already underlined this the thinner strands of thread that we see are made up of still thinner strands are called fibers fabrics are made up of yarns and yarns are further made up of fibers yani ki chote chote fibers se milke yarn banta hai aur yarn se milke fabric banta hai jaise hum cotton fabric ya silk fabric ya woolen fabric keh sakte hain Where do these fibers come from, students? इस video के part टू में हम fibers कहाँ से आते हैं Natural होते हैं या chemical से बने होते हैं किस किस process से कैसे कैसे type के fibers बनते हैं ये सारी चीज़ें discuss करेंगे Till then, bye. Thank you.